Hey everyone, uh, we're going to do another crappy jig today and then it's going to be my last video till the end of the month. I got some family uh, matters to take care of and uh, a lot of things I got to get caught up on. Another thing I'd like to say is once again we're having trouble with comments being removed so please be patient. If you make a comment and you see it's gone, um, come back and do it again or you can email me directly uh, I don't know why that happens but it still continues to be a, uh, an issue so that said this crappy jig we're gonna do today is a 1 16th ounce that we have in the vise it's a do it freestyle jig head we got a size 4 victory um, 11 149 sickle style hook and the color is black, and I know you can't see it, but there is green flake in there. And I think I'm going to do that when I come back, is I'm going to show you how to make your own flake colors and how to powder paint these small crappy jigs really easy. I know I got people that want to see that, and I normally, when I'm doing a lot, I use a fluid bed, but if you're only going to do a few crappy jigs, I have a way to show you that you could do it out of the jar without having too much of a problem. So uh, look for that in the future, probably the end of this month, like I said. So let's get started here. We're going to use some black 140 denier flat wax nylon thread. As always, get our base started. And we're going to go down right to the hook point there. A little bit past, a little bit before, it doesn't matter. But right around there, and then we're going to work our thread back up again. This pattern, uh, this jig I like to call uh, Flash Tail Shad. And it's my peacock black color, which is why we have the green flake in the black, which I know you can't see. And the first thing we're going to do is add our tail where the jig gets its name. And this is a baitfish emulator. It comes, um, I'm almost out of it, but it comes on, you know, you can't see it. But uh, basically it's like a, a real heavy long polar chenille that's the easiest way to explain it it's on a thread and what I do is I just cut it off uh, to the length I need I don't use it that way uh, the majority of the time I use this stuff it's for this particular crappy jig and the color it's black it's black emulator flash but you could see that green in there flash and that iridescent green uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be part of it, but when I purchased this stuff, it was called Black uh, Baitfish Emulator. You can get it from a number of different sources. I got this, I believe I got this from Jay Stalker. It's been a while since I purchased any, and since I only have a little bit left, I'm going to need to buy some more. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm gonna, I use this for tailing material. And about a shank, shank and a half past the very end of the hook. That's the length of the tail. And the one, one nice thing about using flash for a tail is if you make it long, you can always cut some off. It isn't like a feather or something um, or natural hair where you, you don't want to take the tips off. With this stuff, if you make it too long, so always err on that side. Make it longer rather than shorter. You can always cut some off. You can't add to it. So, we're going to tie our bait fish emulator in. You don't need a lot of this stuff. The only thing you want to do is make sure that it's centered. And, of course, 
I didn't watch it and it turned on me a little bit. No big deal. Just move some around and buckle it in. No big issue. Now, normally on this pattern, I would take this and then I would add a couple strands of uh, black pearl crystal flash. But as everyone knows, I really started liking this polar flash. So we're using the black rainbow polar flash. And this is really good because it has different colors in it as well as the black which I think works really nice with this bait fish emulator. So what I did was I took three strands, I cut them in half. So we'll tie some in, tie three strands on that side, and then fold it in half. And in the same way, the other side. Take three strands, tie it in, I'm going to fold it in half and then tie it all the way back. Do it however you're comfortable. And I'll just take these real long pieces here and I'll trim them off and we're good to go. And I'm going to lash this down real good. Again, this isn't real heavy bodied, so. Don't be afraid to go up and down the shank and hook a couple times with your thread. You're not going to get it too heavy. Now, this is called Peacock. It's pearl chenille, medium pearl chenille. Um, if you can find Peacock cactus chenille, very similar. And I'm going to tie that in by the cord. And then work my way up to the head. And I'm going to start wrapping this. And with pearl chenille and cactus chenille, this kind of stuff, uh, when you, I wrap it, I like to preen those little barbs back. So it's all laying backwards. I think it looks more natural that way. That's just me. Always want to try to keep this stuff as tight as I can. I don't even think I'm going to have any waste. That's what happens when you tie a bunch of these up in a row. You start getting good at estimating how much chenille you actually need. You don't have hardly any waste. That's it. We're going to Whip finish it here. Five, six. One, two, three, three, four. Boy, I keep hitting that line tie. Haste makes waste. Never be in a hurry. And now we're going to take a little bit of head cement. That's it. Let me show you what this looks like. And make sure all my flash is on the right side of the hook so my tail lays straight. See, I got one piece here that's There it is. And that is it. 
That's our little flash tail shad. Get some of them uh, loose pieces of that pearl chenille out of there. But this is really stained water, sunny day. This thing will kill them. If you don't like the length of that tail, you can always trim some off, but always tie it in a little long. That way you can uh, adjust can actually adjust the profile. You're out in the water, you're getting short strikers, they're grabbing the tail, take your scissors and just chop a little bit off. Real effective um, and not hard to tie. So there you go. I'll see you all in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching.